Rolls across to the blue line where Grissom holds the zone. Hall has it down low, trying to make that puck settle down, bouncing around like crazy. Grissom at the point, shoves it across to Archibald, who steps up to the left circle. Fernandez below the goal line, up top to Grissom, fires the shot, deflected in the goal crease, they score! Matt Jones there to clean it up. This line remains red hot, and the Ice Miners take a 1-0 lead with 14.39 remaining in the first. Scahill will slap it around to the far side. Scarzella at the point. Wheels it back to the right circle. Up top to Kuznetsov. He'll fire off the post and into the net. Kuznetsov with the shot from the point that I don't think Blankenberg saw through traffic and a power play goal for Springfield has tied it at one with 14-12 remaining in the second period. Vedas trying to hold it in there, getting it down low to Romzik. Romzik turning free. Junior Blues trying to work it back up, left wing side. Comes to center ice, Betis intercepts it, breaks in on goal. Here's Betis holding back, and he scores! What an individual effort by Noah Betis to beat the defense and then beat McKay on the backhand, and the Ice Miners have regained the lead with 13.36 to go in the second period. Aluya to Maiden, still no shot. Now Maiden fires and cranks it wide. Hammered off the backboards, but held in by Little down to a knee. Maiden into the slot. Romzik backhand is it across, looking for Sofo. Not sure exactly what he was thinking there, but again, the Junior Blues can't clear it. Held in at the right point by Little to Maiden. Maiden back to Little, faking the shot. Maiden again, they work it up top. Again to the slot for Romzik. Backhand, he scores! Well, I think Joey Sofo may have deflected it. But the Ice Miners could not care less who gets the goal. They have a 3-1 lead with 3.06 left, a power play goal. And the Ice Miners back at full strength now as the pass comes across to Crowley and out to center ice. 15 seconds remaining as Mee swings back, flipping it to Crowley in his skates. Taylor Fernandez with an open net, can't get anywhere. Hall will fire, that's blocked. Romzik tries, stopped in front. Fernandez reaching for it with five seconds off to the far side, fires it blocked. But the Keystone Ice Miners have won the game 3-1. to one. Your final score. The Ice Miners with a hard-fought effort tonight. Picking up a 3-1 victory, their first win on home ice since September 13th. And, hey, now they've won three of four.